Hi guys and welcome back to another video on this cheap AliExpress amplifier kit. So in the previous uh, episode we saw that it's not that hard to assemble all these parts on this board and we had also a sound test. It was uh, pretty decent, it was good for the price I pay for £5. But on this episode we're gonna see what we can't hear with the ears. Because the oscilloscope will gonna tell us the real performance of this amplifier. So without further ado, let's get closer to my working bench and do these tests. Okay guys, so let me explain what I set up over here. So I have the channel 1, which is red one over here, channel 1 on the output of the amplifier on the dummy load connected. And I have the channel 2 on the input of the amplifier on the output from the signal generator. So let's turn on the signal generator to see what's going on because I already set up how you can see 1 kilohertz with 810 millivolts. So I turn on and we have uh, the oscilloscope read only 600 millivolts on the input of the amplifier and on the output 22 volts RMS on 8 ohm load. And let's see how much is the watt power to 22 volts. Because if I go to the amplitude and if I go to increase, already is going to clip. As you can see the red line already in the bottom is flattened. So yeah, the maximum input voltage of this amplifier is 810 millivolts and is uh, putting out 22 volts RMS. So let's see what is the RMS watt power of this amplifier. So the amplifier is powered now with the 35 plus, 35 minus, how is recommended on the listing. And if we do the math, 22 times 22 divided by our load, which is 8 ohm, give us 60 watt RMS power. And there it says that uh, can deliver 100 watts power. So it's not uh, really how the listing says. So the listing says 100 watt power and actually delivering before clipping 60 watt power which is not bad for 5 pounds but let's now to do also a frequency response to see from which frequency up to which frequency keeping the same power so we are going now to set up our signal generator to the low frequency which is 20 hertz so I'm gonna press 20 and I'm gonna select hertz over here and we're gonna keep the voltage the same range because uh, we want to see if the same input voltage it will gonna give us the same output voltage so let's have a look so we're gonna do an auto set in our oscilloscope and how we can see here already is too much voltage on the input because it's already flattened at the bottom so let's see how many millivolts need on the input at 20 hertz so I'm gonna decrease a bit the voltages until we're gonna see the right signal there so we are about there so we have only 20 volts RMS on the output right now with the 591 millivolts on the input so let's increase now the frequency so let's go 30 and 30 keeping the same 20 volts on the output 40 Hertz the same voltage on the output 20 volts 50 Hertz the voltage a bit dr uh, drop so we are in 19 volts RMS on the output and maybe we can go to increase the input level let's have a look so if I increase the input level so I go to see when is flattening the bottom so if I do an auto set here to see more better the scene wave and we are about there let's see 790 millivolts on the input and we are starting to have so we're gonna keep 780 millivolts on the input and let's go back to the frequency and we have 21 volts on the output 60 Hertz we are same voltage on the output 21 volts 70 we have 21 volts 80 we are the same voltage let's see if we're gonna drop so i'm gonna go now we are in 200 hertz over here and the power output is the same the scene wave still clean 
800 uh, hertz the signal still clean and we're gonna go now 1 kilohertz 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz the voltage output is the same 8 still the same output power we are in 16 kilohertz and I can see the scene wave is getting like a triangle no more as a scene wave and the power also drop low let's check a bit with the amplitude if we can adjust it from there no so from 16 kilohertz the scene wave get really distorted you can see here it's straight there's no more round and uh, we're gonna keep like that up to here is properly triangle triangle on 22 kilohertz so yeah you know it's not that much uh, that much impressed with this uh, scene wave so everything worked good around 12 kilohertz as soon you go more than 12 kilohertz it's starting to become a triangle the output not still how is the input so the listing says that this amplifier can be powered between plus minus 10, vol 10 volts up to plus minus uh, 45 volts so i set up my power supply now to 40 volts dual 40 volts so 40 plus positive 40 neg negative so i'm going to turn on the power supply so now we are going to have 42 positive 42 negative and with the 5 amps delivery so i set up about 1 kilohertz over here my uh, signal generator and i want to see in, with 1 kilohertz 42 positive 42 negative voltage in on the powering the amplifier how many watts really do so let's turn the let's give auto set also and let's go to amplitude over here and let's ramp up to see the maximum power at 42 the volts so over there so with 42 positive 42 negative we are having on the output 26.3 rms voltage and let me do a math to see how much is coming how many volts so if i have 26 point four looks there multiply by itself and divide by our load which is 8 ohm it's telling me 87 watts RMS at full maximum power supplies, 42 volts positive, 42 negative, and we are drawing now on both rails 2 amps. So yeah, this is the maximum power that can do. So yeah, this is the amplifier which cost uh, just five pounds with delivery and uh, tax to be shipped here to UK. My thoughts on it is that you pay for what you get. And then, uh, yeah, uh, we can see from 12 kilohertz uh, handle the, the, the signal very well, but uh, over 12 kilohertz it's starting to become as a triangle, no more as a scene wave. Yes, I could do some debug to understand why it's uh, acting like that, but I look everywhere to find a schematic on this one. If any one of you have a schematic, please uh, drop your comment down below. Because honestly, I don't have enough time to do reverse engineering to get the schematic and to understand what component can do that one and if I do some changes to make it work better. But as I mentioned on the beginning of this project, but this amplifier kit, I just bought them to do a test to see if it's really how they claim that deliver 100 watts power and we saw that with the maximum supply power voltage dual rail 45 volts barely deliver 80 watts in 8 ohm this is my dummy load that i have 8 ohm i don't have a dummy load of 4 ohms so that's why i just tested with that one so do i recommend it if you want just to have an amplifier to make some noise inside the house yeah very cheap and is easy to build you just need a dual rail uh, transformer maybe a 3 amp uh, rectifier bridge and let's see 10 10,000 microfarad capacitor two pieces and you are ready to go with an amplifier 
which is really cheap to build, but don't expect quality because you pay just to have an amplifier, not to have a quality. So I'm gonna also put the link on the description down below from where I get this one to see the real price that I pay only five pounds on it and uh, you decide if you might want to build one. As I say, pay attention when you put the resistors and components in measure twice to make sure that you put in the right place the right component because with the paper that the supplier the the, the seller gave me uh, you see there is two mistakes over there that uh, if i was not paying attention maybe i was not able to do even any test and let me show you guys which project it will gonna be next one so i have this it says that is a glh headphone amplifier single ended class a so a single-ended class A should run really nice because always a single-ended runs all the signal through only one transistor and we should not have no that much distortion should be like a clearly clean scene wave we don't need to have like a crossover distortion and the signal should be really nice and clean on the output so this is the pcb i will not uh, because i want to keep it uh, with this foil on until i'm gonna start make it so this is the pcb which has uh, regulated regulated voltage uh, on the on the power supply and has uh, the smoothing capacitor here and there is four there is eight is a dual ray power supply also this one and has a single ended because you have uh, one transistor that uh, set up the current for the single tra ended uh, transistor output because both of them are NPN transistors and then the input there is another few small transistors so this is going to be the PCB board and all the components over here also this one I get it very cheap from AliExpress and you're going to have uh, on the next project also the link for this uh, amplify from where I got so stay tuned please subscribe to don't miss the next uh, project which is gonna be soon and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you so please give me a like please also drop your comment down below what you want to see more on my channel and until the next project guys it's gonna be this one have a good day and bye bye